Hey what's up guys, Ronald back here with another video and in this video guys I'm gonna show you how you can install WordPress website locally. So keep watching this video. Alright guys, now let me tell you what is locally. So locally means whenever you install your WordPress website as a locally, you're installing your website only on your computer system and all the database of your WordPress website will be stored on your hard drive. So your website will not be live unless you want it to be. So what is the benefit of having a local website? Let me tell you. For instance, you are planning to buy a hosting or domain from hosting provider company, but uh, you do not know about WordPress, uh, like how to deal with it, how to add posts or any kind of stuff you do not know about WordPress at all. But you wanna switch your website into WordPress but in that situation installing a WordPress website locally comes handy you can install and play around with WordPress or you can start building your website right away once you are done building your website or you got yourself satisfied with your website that you build with the local server and then you can transfer your website on the live server local host to live server okay that's the main benefit of having a website locally so let me show you how you can install WordPress website locally and let's get started. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe or you can turn on notification by clicking this notification bell icon and you won't miss my new uploads. And also you can leave a like if you've been enjoying these videos. So guys, in order to install WordPress locally, we need to install a software. So open up your google.com and let's just type local by flywheel and let's just open this first website open this in a new tab so guys this is the main website and this is the software that we're going to install and a lot of features in this software you can see and uh, in the back in the days uh, they developed uh, this software only for Mac and now you can download this for PC as well let's just click on free download and uh, it's according to your computer system if you have Mac you can go with this and if you are Windows user you can select this tab right here and let's just fill the details in it and then you have to click on get it now and it will download automatically let's just type uh, these details here Let's just click on get it now. So now your downloading will start automatically. If it doesn't, then you have to click on click here. So guys, as you can see, this software is 451 megabytes. And let's just click uh, start downloading. So guys, I'll be back once this downloading will complete. 20 minutes later. All right guys, as you can see, downloading has done. Now let's just double click on this software. And now let's just install the software. You want to turn on this message and now at this stage you just have to click on let's go. So this process will take a while so I'm gonna speed this up. It may ask you several time uh, for your permission to proceed this process. Just you have to click on yes. Alright guys, so this is the main software uh, itself and now you can click on create a site, click on that and here you have to give the name to your site. I'm gonna call it Bappu Pass Ho Gaya. Okay, let's just click on advanced option and as you can see uh, this is the local site domain and uh, this is the local site path and let's just click on continue and uh, next here we need to configuration setup let's click on custom and uh, PHP version I'm gonna change it to 5.6.20 and uh, I'm gonna leave this web server NGINX and MySQL version I like to go with 
and yeah that's it and let's click on continue and uh, this is my WordPress admin username I can change it if I wanted to let's just change this to Papu and I'm gonna type my password and let's just click on uh, let's just add the email I'm gonna give them my email because this company is uh, authorized company they don't spam at all and let's just click on uh, advanced option let's see what else we have it asks us is this is a WordPress multi-site no okay let's click on add site now it's asking us to save the username and password let's just save as default so now it's going to download a few files from the server it's going to download the environment it's going to download PHP and MySQL database so it will take a while so I'm gonna speed this up and I'll be back once it's done now it's downloading PHP so guys as you can see now it's downloading MySQL 5.6 give this software permission click yes now it may take a few minutes a few moments later alright guys okay let's go to the database so as you can see this is the database panel this is the SSL you can add SSL certificate if you want to uh, and this is the utility and in the bottom here you can see this is live link that I will show you in just a second but let's go to the site in order to go to the site let's go to just click on view site so guys this is your WordPress website looks like by default let's just open the dashboard of WordPress let's go back here now let's just click on admin will take you to the login page now let's just type uh, our username which is Papu and let's just type password here so guys as you can see now we inside the dashboard of WordPress and uh, we can play around with this WordPress website let's just quickly go to the themes let's install the theme that we like click on add new let's go to the popular let's just scroll down let's just uh, install this one here you can install anything you like let's click on activate let's uh, go to our website and let's refresh the page so guys this is our new theme here now you can uh, start building your website right away once you're done building your website then you can uh, uh, move your website into the live server let me show you the coolest feature of this software which is if you click on enable live link it will give you the live URL that you can share with your clients or your friends to get the feedback from them alright guys as you can see this is the live URL alright guys that's the end of this video guys in the next video I'll show you how you can migrate this website into the live server Alright guys, hopefully you understand how to install WordPress website locally. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give a like to this video. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And I will post a new video every week on this channel. And uh, that being said, goodbye and see you again.